remember, brother, you don't become the king by chasing the queen. You become the king by chasing the fucking crown. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that teach and rule well among many other things. And peace of citations to the elect that are scattered abroad for this earth out there in the highways of Hedges and pushes truth and sincerity. Shalom. <clears throat> Salakia. You know, my voice is gone. You know, I'm a bit under the weather, so. <clears throat> you know, Yara Dazah, you know, you're going to be able to hear me clearly. <clears throat> right? All right, so this video is going to go into, all right, uh, pretty much what I was meditating upon, you know. And what I want to title this video is. Don't chase the bag, chase the crown, man. All right. So you saw that video that I that I played. All right. Concerning that, you know, with that lion, you know, uh, don't chase the queen, which really ain't no queens, especially in the kingdom to come. We ain't gonna have no queens. All right. We gonna have wives. Okay. We gonna have wives. But it was a very good point. Chase the fucking crown, man. Chase the fucking crown, man. And, you know, it's not going to be easy, you know, especially coming into this truth, growing and learning. There's uh, growing pains, man, you know, a position of difficulties. You know, you're putting in a low estate, right? But the scriptures say you be, you be patient, man. Be ye patient. When you're brought to a low estate, as it talks about in Sirach chapter 2. You know, <clears throat> these are the things that we have to continue to bear with, to endure. And it's a very pleasant thing to the Heavenly Father that we endure chastening. All right. Why? Because then he's going to deal with us as a son. And that's what we're looking for. We look towards that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Who they eagerly call God in the Son's name, Yahweh Shai, who they also eagerly call, call Jesus. That's not his real name. His real name is Yahweh Shai. That we are deemed worthy before their eyes. Okay? <clears throat> so, no further ado, I'm going to get into this video, this lesson. Alright? And hopefully, it's going to reach out to somebody that's going to need to hear this, man. Because. You know, we all we all got our trials and tribulations. We all have our ups and we have our downs. Alright? But never throw in that towel. Don't throw in that towel. Don't let the the, the mind play tricks on you thinking that bag is gonna help you deal with these afflictions, man. Alright? The Lord he may give you things that you need and he may give you things to try you. But this, you know, this this world is about to come to an end. This world that we're living in is coming to an end. Of course, it's okay, you know, to better yourself and create something for yourself. You know, you want to get a, like an LLC or like in, in, in the Netherlands, we call it a Kave Ka, which is a business license and create something for yourself. You know, money is a defense. But let not th that be your main objective. Your main objective is to what? To put off that old man, all right. Your main objective is to read and study. You know, we all we all dealing with that. We all dealing with these distractions, right? And we all have to put in work, man. That's the main objective that we have to do. This truth, our heritage is our lives. This this is our daily thing that we have to continue in. Okay, that we may endure. That's what the scriptures say, right? We have to endure till the end, and the same shall be saved. All right. So, what are we? Our what is our main objective? To be strong within this ministry, man. To be blameless. Okay. <clears throat> so we got to walk in the spirit and not of the flesh, man. So this is First Peter chapter four, verse twelve, and it reads: "Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which he, which is to try you." So the things that we're going through in this life, you know, don't count as strange. Like, man, what? Why? Why me? Right? Don't be like that, man. 
You know, you got to catch yourself when you do that. Of course, we're in the flesh. You got to understand that. So don't think it's strange, right? As though some strange thing happened unto you, okay? Because as it says here, First Peter's, this is a very beautiful scripture right here to back it up, man. You know, to get you to understand that the Lord dealeth with those that he loves, okay? You can see the wicked out there. They're not getting punished for the things they're doing. They, they're out here living it up doing all kinds of drugs and shit, right? And, and and they ain't getting afflicted like us. But us, we deal with infirmities. You know, our bodies be just, you know, messing up, right? Um, dealing with loss, okay? We do certain things and we get checked right away. Well, don't count as strange because the Lord chastens those that he loves, man keep that in mind because this is what it says right here in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 6 and it reads for whom the Lord loveth he chasteneth and scourge every son whom he receiveth so the Lord chasteneth and he scourge every son that he receiveth right why because he loves us the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah loves us, man. You think that's just, this is crazy? That's strange. No, it's not strange because, for example, with you, right? Think about it this way: if you got a son, and he out there about to eat some dirt with worms in it, you don't tell him right away. I, I, I. You should be doing that. But if you see you and my kid out there doing that, you ain't care about him. You see? And that's the same thing how the Heavenly Father is with us. You have to understand that. Okay? If you if you endure chastening, right? Endure the most high Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai deal with you as with sons. So we have to endure it. Keep our integrity, right? Continue to give reverence unto the Heavenly Father, because I'm going to get that really quick. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, wherefore all, all, all part of all are partakers, right? You want to call yourself being the truth, but you ain't catching no hell. You're in a good time, right? Then are you bastards and not sons. So. <laughs> You know, when you come into this truth and you start to catch hell, this this is, shows you how the Heavenly Father loves you. But if that's not the case, it's not looking good for you. There's something not right with you. Right? Because the Lord says, I have chosen you. You have not chosen me. Right? Many are called, but few are chosen. So when you're catching this hell, just understand that it's all for the betterment. Why? Because you're going to learn, right? You're going to learn, and you're going to get what? You're going to get rid of that old man. You're going to go through situations, right? You're going to be catching hell, you know? But you're going to learn how to deal with these situations, not like how you have been doing in the world. That's what I had to learn, too. But I had to act accordingly and apply these scriptures, Apply the counsel that I get from the brothers, man. You know? This is about the body of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Okay? So we got to understand that. We got to realize it. And we got to take that in consideration. And apply it to our daily path. Right? Um, right, verse 9. Now this is the point. Furthermore, we had had fathers of our flesh which correct us, and we gave them reference. So you had a father in this world, you know, he he, he whooped your butt because you're doing some stupid shit, right? So then you do what? You give him reference later on, like, yeah, man, <laughs> I deserve that. You know, my dad, he, you know, he, he taught me a lot of things, you know? Sometimes I learned the hard way. Well, this is what it says right here. And we gave them reference. We gave them respect. Our fathers in the flesh, right? 
Shall we not much more rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Which is Yahweh. Should we much more, right, be in subjection unto the Heavenly Father Yahweh, right, and live? Because the thing is, so we get corrected, we get chastened, right? We have to endure it to understand that we endure it. The Lord is going to treat us as what? Sons. And we continue being sons of what? Of the Most High, Yasharallah. Okay? Guess what? We're going to inherit what? The everlasting crown, man. Which we all are fighting for, man. Right? Because it says here, jump to verse 11 really quick. It says, Now, no chastening from the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth a peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. So, these corrections, these chastments, are, are, are not easy to deal with, right? It's not fun. But guess what? At the end, it's going to work out a, pe a peaceable fruit of what? Righteousness onto them that are, that are exercised thereby. That Those are the ones that are getting corrected all the time. Why? Because <clears throat> those men that get corrected, right, they learn from the situations, are able to also teach other brothers thus wise to act accordingly you see all right because we're all brothers to one another man all right this is Sirach chapter 2 verse 1 and it reads my son if thou come to serve the Lord we are coming to serve the Lord right prepare thy soul for temptation so we got to prepare our souls for, for temptation. So don't think these things that are happening unto us are strange. Don't think that they're strange because we have been taught and, and, and we have learned that they the, that these things have been appointed unto us. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3, and it reads, that no man should be moved by these afflictions. Right, these temptations that are set before us. These are the these are the trials and tribulations that we have to go through, and, and these trials and tribulations, are right, these afflictions, these temptations that are set before us, is to build us up in the spirit. And these times are to come, man. You know, and and uh, and being in that little weak spirit, like, oh no, not me, not me again. Well, it was me, you know. Uh, uh, you know, are you without sin, right? That bullshit spirit. Man, get right. The Lord is about to come, man. And it's, and it's, this is the final test is coming. The Lord said, which I'm going to get into, I'm not going to say it right now. But we got to continue to fight, man. All right? I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it right now, but I'm going to read it. Right, because it says here, for yourselves know that we are appointed thereon too. For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, even as it come to pass, and ye know. Right? So these things that are occurring, it's not like something that we should not know. Right? Because in Romans chapter 15, verse 4, it reads. For whatsoever things were written afar time were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So the things that happened from before, just like the, the apostles, right? They got scourged in the synagogue, but they counted as joy, man. Knowing that the Heavenly Father is dealing with them. Okay? We're going first back to first Peter's chapter four, verse thirteen, and it reads but rejoice in so much as ye are partakers of Yahweh Shai's sufferings. You see? And what what did the Heavenly Father say about his son? Right? Let me grab it really quick. Let me see if it's one or thirteen. 
No, it was a 3D. Um, this is Matthew chapter 3, verse 17. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Okay? The Heavenly Father, right? He gave, you know, up His only begotten Son unto our salvation, man. And, 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 and then what he had to go through? He had to go through much worse than us. He had to go through much worse than us, man. And we are not greater than our master. So we are all going through our trials and tribulations that have been set before us. The Lord is not going to give us more than what we could deal with. Every man is given their portion of faith. All right? But you got to continue to be strong in the Lord, man. All right? It says, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 12, Beloved, think it, wait, verse 13, Salakia, but rejoice in so much as ye are partakers of Yahweh Shai's sufferings. So we are, are partakers. What does that mean? The Heavenly Father is dealing with us as well, right? Through our Lord, Yahweh Shai. That when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Because we're, go we're going to receive that what? We're going to be. Uh, joint heirs with our Lord, man. Right? Because when that time comes, we're going to be redeemed from this earth. Or not this earth, but this world, I would say. Because <clears throat> this world is full of evil, man. And we need to be delivered, especially from ourselves, man. This flesh, these stony hearts, right? A mind uh, corrupt, these corruptible bodies, man. The uh, chains of darkness. We got to be saved. We need our Lord, man. We need our power back in our lives, man. And that's already happening. So if that's already happening, knowing that this is not our rest for the, the, for the things that we have done, being punished for what we have done, we should rejoice that the Lord is coming back to deal with us, man. That we are being, bra being brought back to our power, Yahweh. Okay? By His Son, Yahweh Shai, our big brother. And to be partakers, okay, what do, what do we need to focus on? Is it going to be the bag or is it going to be the crown, man? What, is, what do you want? What do you want in life, man? Better think about it. Because you know you're out there with the rest of them jakes, right? While you're out there, out there reproving and correcting them, at the same time, your mind is set just like them, man. So what does that make you? You know, we got to check ourselves, man, every day. We got to examine ourselves, rather be in faith or not, man. All right? Uh, let's see. Oh. This is First Peter's chapter 1. Uh, verse, uh, let me see, it's like, yeah. Really get a little dark over here in my eyes, just trying to adjust, so... Um, this is um, I'm going to start at verse 6 First Peter chapter 1 verse 6 and it reads wherein ye greatly rejoice though now for a season <coughs> we at the last we at the end you saw a small little season is up Esau's season is almost up, man. Right? We're at the end of it. It's better of an ending than the beginning. So don't give up, man. You know, of course, money's a defense, but it shouldn't be the, the only thing that you are focused on. The main thing that we need to focus on is within this ministry, man. Brothers that stand next to you. Right? Uh, pushing this truth, man. Feeding, feeding the sheep. Feed the sheep, man. Right? We got to work, man. Right? It's over again. Wherein you greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. So these temptations, you know, 
get us on the low, messes up. You know, we taking mad L's. You're wondering, like, man. <laughs> but we we should rejoice in the, the in the things that we're dealing with. Because we know that the, the, these things are appointed onto us, and that the Lord is dealing with us. The Heavenly Father is not going to give us more than we cannot deal with. And guess what? Be instant in prayer, man. Continue to pray in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shemel Shai, and He will deliver you. The Lord wants that. He wants us to communicate to Him daily. Okay, it's not enough that we can uh, that we can even say, but we got to continue doing what we can to the best of our abilities. Okay. Because the Lord will, is already hearing our prayers. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Basham El Shai, has been doing what he said he was going to do for us. But do you see that? Are you being spiritual? Because if, if you're not being spiritual, you won't see it. Because you being a carnal ass nigga, thinking the other way, other way around. Leaning to your own, own understanding. Then the trust in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Basham El Shai, with all thy heart and thy soul, man. Right? Because when you acknowledge the Heavenly Father, He is going to be the one that's going to guide your steps. You already know a man's going is of the Lord. So if it be, the Lord will deliver you. It's just a matter of time. It's concerning patience. It's concerning building your spirit up, your integrity. Right? Building up your status. You know, you got, you know, strengths. You have weaknesses, right? You know, you have... Uh, uh, points like for example like a character you got speed strength intellect uh, stamina all these things the Heavenly Father is working with us to build us up you know what I mean you got to trust the process you know there's no other way you, you know you, you instead of going with the flow you want to fight and go up, up the river wondering why you can't keep up because you're going the wrong way all right, you're going the wrong way, man. That the trial of your faith be much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of our Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, man. Imagine that, man. The things that we are doing is worth more than these things that are on this earth, man. And what got me thinking about that, you know, when the Lord shall come, shall he find faith on this earth? I think it was 18 and 8. Let me see. Yeah. This is Luke chapter 18, verse 8. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. The Lord is going to avenge us speedily. He's coming quick. Right? Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on earth? And that's going to be yes, but it's only going to be a remnant. It's only going to be a small amount. So what does that mean? That makes us more precious than anything, man. Just like how if you have a rare gem, like one out of a trillion, I think it's worth a lot. Well, guess what? We make, we make up the jewels of the Heavenly Father. We are lively stones. We are... Let me grab that. I think it was 1 in 12. Let me see. No. Is it 1 in 12? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see if this is right. Yeah. This is first Peter's chapter two, verse five. <coughs> yeah, also, as lively stones are built up a spiritual house, an holy priesthood to offer up let me see, let me go up here. First Peter's chapter two. Verse, First Peter chapter two verse three. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming, as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, 
but chosen of the Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, and precious. You see? We are the living stones. Building what? A temple unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. As he also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shai, wherefore also it is contained in the scriptures, Behold, I lay in Zion, Zion, a chief cornerstone, which is our Lord Yahweh Shai, elect, precious, the elect, they're elect out of the nation of Israel, man. And he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Right? Because our, our foundation is, is built upon our Lord, man. That tried stone. Okay? Let me grab that really quick. Isaiah 28. I think it was verse 16. Yep. This is Isaiah chapter 28, verse 16. Therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I lay in Zion. For a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation, he that believeth shall not make haste. Why? Because we're not going to be what? Confounded. The Lord, Yahweh Basham Shah is with us. And we got to understand that, you know? So what is it that you want? You want to you you chase the bag? Or is it the crown that you want, man? Because if we're more precious than gold and rubies, the gold, you know, the, you gotta understand, man, how, how important we are to our Lord, man. That's our big brother. He loves us, man. He said he's gonna, he gonna avenge us speedily. Our big brother is waiting right now, has not tasted no wine till he come down and get things right, man. Right? That's our big brother, man. And that's who we build our foundation off. Right? According to what? The doctrine. Doctrine. Sound doctrine. Right? Of our of our Heavenly Father, our power, Yahweh. Okay? Through our son, Yahweh Shai. Because what did he do? He came to do what? His will. Our Father. Our Heavenly Father's will. Right? And what did, what did the Lord say? If we do that, right? We are what family, man. And we are. So what does a real brother do? What a real family member do? He put that bullshit aside, man, and focus on the prize. The real prize is what? <clears throat> Establishing the names of Yahweh, Baha Shami Shai, right? And the true doctrine. Okay, pushing this truth out there, destroying and breaking down these strongholds, man. Right? Getting right. Doing what we need to do according to what the Lord commanded us to do. Okay? Which is what? Chasing that crown. We are, you know, we're not making haste, you know, but we are running a marathon pretty much. You know, and it's about what? Enduring, man. So when you, you know, when you catch in hell, you're going through uh, hard times and things like that. Just understand that these things are appointed onto us. It should not get you all out of the spirit, man, and thinking otherwise and leading to your own understanding and thinking chasing the bag is going to uh, uh, find a solution to your problems. No, finding a solution to your problems is looking back towards the Lord for help. Because there's no other way. <clears throat> this is First Peter chapter four. Let's see, verse thirteen. But rejoice. And so much as ye are partakers of Yahweh Shai's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceedingly joy. Why? Because we have continued on. We have, we have, we have, uh, uh, you know, continued on the whole fast of no man take our crown, which I'm about to grab here in a second. 
right? If ye be reproached for the name of Yahweh Shai, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of the Most High resteth upon you, right? Because we are not of this world. The world is going to recognize its own and take care of their own and hate us, right? Blessed are ye that, you know, when men shall separate themselves from you, right? Chasing the back, thinking, you know, getting this kind of attention, it's a false sense of security that you keep continuing to put in your head to make yourself feel comfortable. Well, guess what? Get, get uh, acquainted to being uncomfortable, man. Be comfortable being uncomfortable because this is not our rest. We are to continue to be sharp, not complacent, not as fools, man. That's not what the Lord has done, did to bring us back so we could continue to be niggas. Stupid. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified, right? Why? Because the, we know the Lord is coming for us. He's coming for the elect, man. Okay? For them, it's evil spoken upon. Why? Because they are just wicked as hell. And the judgment is about to come. If it wasn't for the Lord, they would have a no, they would have had a cloak for sin. But since the Lord came on the scene, they don't have no cloak for sin. This is exactly when we come in the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son's name, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, they have no cloak for their sins. None. Right? So last scripture, I'm going to close it. This is Revelations chapter... Whoa. This is Revelations chapter 3, verse 10, and it reads, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. <coughs> right? We continue to fight on, you know, not looking towards the back. Right? Okay, because we count it as what? Dung. I also would keep thee from the hour of temptation. The Lord's going to keep us from the hour of temptation, man. How beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? You don't understand. It's not going to be a view that's going to deliver you out of these times. It's the Lord. Yahweh Ba'ashem El Shai is going to deliver us. Understand that. We're going to need the edge of the Most High Yahweh Ba'ashem El Shai. The Heavenly Father has his angels encamped around them that fear him. And if you're without fear, and you're out here in this world thinking, yeah, I'm not going to take the chip, and that's all it takes, then you're surely mistaken, man. You have fooled yourself. I also would keep thee from the hour of temptation. The Lord said that. We shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So when that MOTB is going to be made mandatory, or even come upon this earth and say, okay, you're not allowed to be able to do this, this, and this. The Lord is going to keep us from that. The Lord is going to give us food when we need it. Water when we're thirsty. Right? He's going to keep us protected. In these days that are to come. And the, a, none of the wicked are going to be able to do anything to us. Right? While they're getting destroyed. Right? While their own crafty and, and devices destroy themselves. The Lord is going to deliver us through, us, through, through all of it. Now this is the point. Behold, I come quickly. You see? The Lord is coming quickly to avenge us. Hold that fast which thou hast. We have to hold on to this what we have learned. We have to hold on to it with our dear lives and pray that the Lord will not take it away from us. Right? That no man take thy crown. Okay? So what is it going to be? Is it, is it going to be the bag or is it going to be the crown, man? Ain't nothing wrong with working with your hands to have something for yourself. Nothing wrong with that. What is it? What is it? It's the spirit behind it 
that makes the difference, right? If it's preventing you from working within this ministry, doing what you need to do to make it, and I think you need to put it to the side, man, and reevaluate the whole situation that you're in and get right with the Lord, right? As the scriptures say, kiss the Lord before he's angry. We all hope for that mercy, man. And you should consider it as well. So with that, I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham HaKakudash. I want to give double honors to the apostles, the elders of great millstone, the teacher who well among many other things, and peace and citations to the elect that are scattered abroad for winds. Shalom.